Hello and welcome back to Simple or Difficult. This is Honor Chukwode, and in this video, we are going to be talking about inclined wall in Revit or slanted wall in Revit. Name it as you wish. Okay, so to create an inclined wall in Revit, let me first of all let me create um, some walls with which we are going to be making an example for this tutorial. So for us to be able to do this, we already have our wall selected. You can do this to any wall. You can even do it to a cutting wall. So you select the wall like so. On the properties palette, you come over here, you see the cross section, okay? You will be seeing vertical because it is set to vertical. When you click on this drop down, you'll see two more options. That is the slanted and the tapered, okay? For the purpose of this tutorial, what we're talking about is slanted wall. So we're just going to go ahead and select this one, the slanted wall. So now, when, you notice that when we selected it, the angle from vertical appeared underneath it okay this is where we are going to attach the the degrees we want our wall to be slanted to okay so let's select it let's make an example okay let's add 30 degrees hit apply now you see the wall is slanted it has slanted outwards if you want to add Another, if you want to make it slant the opposite direction, all you need to do is put the minus in front of the, the number. It is going to slant it towards the other end. All right. So now, the next thing I want us to look at is you can also place doors and windows in an inclined surface. You can also edit it. In previous version of Revit, say Revit 2021, we are not able to edit a slanted wall, but in the recent versions of Revit, I believe we can do so. Okay, to edit the wall. First of all, we're going to edit this wall and then we're going to add doors. And there are some things I want to point out to you when we do that. Okay, so to edit this wall, you select it. You can double click it. You enter the edit mode or you can just simply select it and then hit the edit profile. You now have to draw as you see fit, depending on what you want to do. All right. So let's split this thing, the line, and then trim extend to corner. So now we have successfully edited this wall. You can fill in this space with a cutting wall. I suggest you do this and then fit in the cutting wall in between and then add the, 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 the slanted feature to the wall and impute your degrees and do the same thing remember i told you you can also slant cutting walls too so let's reset this so we can go ahead and place our doors into this inclined wall so select a door you can do this on plan you select a door you add the door let's select a window and add a window. let's just use this one and add a window too let me add two windows and two doors Okay, let's go over to 3D view so we can appreciate it more. Now, there's an issue with the doors and windows we placed. You'll notice that they are hanging out. They are standing straight. They, they are not following the direction of this inclined wall that we have here. That can easily be solved. All you need to do is select the door. You can select all instances, visible in view or in entire view, depending on what you want to do. When you select it, you see orientation drop it down set it to slanted hit apply and now you have the door following the orientation of the wall do the same for this one too now you can see how to fit in and place doors and windows in a slanted walls okay now there, there, there is an issue with this you cannot when you place let me show you what i mean let's go over to this part that is still straight let's impute a cutting wall in there Let's quickly, this, uh, let's check. The automatically embed makes the cutting wall to be able to cut through the wall as you're drawing it in, inside the wall, like so. I'm sure you already know that. Now we have this. For the purpose of what we are doing, let me make it a little. Huh. Now we have this. You see? Okay. You see the way it is cutting it nice and smooth, but what happens when I change the cross section and I make it slanted and I add 30 degrees to it? Okay, now you see the, the, the wall has left the cutting wall 
we can still, like I told you, we can make it slanted too and add 30 degrees too, right? It is supposed to cut through like it was cutting through it before, but now you notice that it's not going to do that anymore. That is because cutting walls don't cut through an inclined or slanted walls. When slant walls like this, you have to find other means of creating an opening in it and then fitting a cutting wall. You can create an opening in it like so and then fit a cutting wall into that opening if you want to put a cutting wall in it. Or there's a tutorial I've done in this channel where I showed you know you how you can create a wall, an inclined wall, and fitting, you know, using mass and then fitting in cutting walls and walls, whatever you want to do. You just have to edit the mass and then reload the wall on it. All right, so that is how you incline or slant your wall in Revit, okay? That is one of the ways you can do that. I suggest to watch the other video too so you can figure out which works best for you. All right, that is it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a like. And if you're new to this channel, if this is your first time on this channel, this is the first video you're watching, welcome. We drop videos like this every week. So I suggest to consider subscribing. Not only that, ring that bell so you don't miss any of our future tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in my next video.